The patient was a 74-year-old man with chronic pancreatitis and a neuroendocrine pseudocyst in the head of the pancreas. Inferior to the pancreas, the superior mesenteric vein was occluded, leading to the development of collateral vessels, and tumor had begun to invade the portal vein posterior to the pancreas. So a long length of portal vein will need to be resected. A total pancreatectomy with splenectomy, right hemicolectomy, and portal vein reconstruction was planned. A cattell brosh maneuver will be used to access the superior mesenteric artery, celiac artery, and aorta posterior to the pancreas. Gastric vessels will be divided, and the stomach stapled and divided, while preserving the pylorus. The GDA will be dissected and divided. The splenic artery will be dissected and divided at its origin. And any remaining arterial supplied to the pancreas will be divided. The SMA and celiac artery were not involved, as seen from preoperative imaging. But there was involvement of the right colon vasculature, so the middle colic, right colic, and ileocolic arteries will be divided proximally. The proximal jejunum will be divided, approximately 30 centimeters downstream of the ligament of trites. The ileum will be divided proximally to the ileocecal junction, and the transverse colon will be divided, distal to the middle colic artery. The portal vein will be divided superior to the pancreas, and the superior mesenteric vein divided inferiorly. The pancreas, spleen, and portions of bowel and colon will be resected on block. A superficial femoral vein graft will be used to reconstruct the portal vein to the superior mesenteric vein. A stoma will be constructed to protect the ileocolic anastomosis.